Goofy! Yeah, Donald! Yeah, yeah. Go, go get him! Oh look, there's Mickey! Gosh, Sora! You look different! And like, older and stuff! <laughs> well, what do you expect what happens when you make the game 13 years later? Let's talk about games, shall we? Hey nerds, it's Wildfire1 and I'm gonna do something a little different for this Let's Talk About Games. Uh, we're briefly gonna to touch base on Kingdom Hearts and maybe some of the voice acting and, and some of that stuff and maybe stuff I liked and my fears about uh, the recent game coming out. And to do this, I need a little bit of liquid courage. So uh, yeah, we're having a beer. So let me go ahead and begin by saying I'm very scared that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be bad. Let me start it off like this. I'm not sure Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be good or disappointing. We've waited about 13 years for this uh, since Kingdom Hearts 2. Let me let me get with my assistant on this one. Alexa, when did Kingdom Hearts 2 come out? The game Kingdom Hearts 2 was released about 13 years ago on March 28, 2006. So there you go, 13 years ago, we've waited for a third game and we've gotten a lot of other games. We're not going to get too much into those. One of the things that's been bothering me in the trailers and the, the little things that we're seeing in, in, online is that we're seeing more and more Disney and less and less Square. Meaning you're seeing less characters from Final Fantasy, some of the other characters that we've kind of got excited about meeting in these games. So with that being said, we'll just, we're just going to have to see where that takes us. Kingdom Hearts is known for its voice acting and beautiful music. Uh, they, they're well known for their voice actors. And I'm going to go down the list here. This is just Kingdom Hearts 1. Of course, you got uh, none other than Haley Joel Osment playing Sora. I want to tell you my secret now. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? David Gallagher's Riku. Um, Billy Zane is Ansem in the first game. Really good. Mandy Moore is Aerith, who's Aerith from, you know, Final Fantasy VII. Steve Burton, Cloud Strife. And Lance Bass was Sephiroth. Real some really good. Sean Austin, of course, played Hercules. I mean, there's some there's some big names in this. Uh, well, anyway, well, let's get to there's a there's a specific Kingdom Hearts that I want to talk about with the voice acting that has two really really huge names in the nerd in the nerd fandom. And uh, once I say this, you guys may or may not know this, and if you don't know, it may blow your mind. I know it did me. Some of the voice actors. In uh, Birth by Sleep, which is Master Xehanort, was voiced by none other than the late Leonard Nimoy. That is right. Spock himself played the bad guy. You know, who's going to voice him now in Kingdom Hearts 3? That was my, always my big question. Uh, because it's just hard. You can't replace that raspy voice i mean someone can you can get a sound alike and whatnot maybe because the way they did it in the story you can kind of go about doing it differently but it's you're gonna be very missed mr nimoy and of course <laughs> here we go mark hamill played master ericus which is square basically jumbled around um yeah so you had mark hamill star wars and Little Nimoy, Star Trek, in the same game together. Fuck, it's just beautiful. I mean, if that's not a nerdgasm, I don't know what is. Like this, on top of that, the game storyline. This game especially brought the story to like new heights. When I first heard about uh, Kingdom Hearts, first, you know, the first game, I was like, oh, this is gonna be stupid. Most Disney games are 
pretty dumb. They're all based off their game, off the uh, the cartoons and the animated series. And the games generally don't translate well. Oh. Booze helps. This game, I've been waiting for, we've been waiting a long time. I, I've been waiting since I've not had gray hair. In fact, let me consult with my assistant. Alexa, when is Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out? Kingdom Hearts 3 will be released for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on January 29th, 2019. There you go. On January 29th. That is just a day or two away. I, I'm really hoping it's good. I'm really hoping it's good. If it's not, I'm going to be very disappointed in Square. I mean, it's not like they haven't disappointed us recently with the Quiet Man. Ugh. Anyway, that's my two cents on on that so far. I know a lot of people have been doing videos on you know, what's chronological right now and what's going on. I'm not going to bother with any of that. I figure that any of you guys who are fans, and those of you who haven't played it yet, I would say play it. Go play the game. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin it for you. I'm not gonna give it away, even though it's been a long it's been out a long time. It's one of those games that you got to sit and experience and enjoy. I think that's one of those games that just kind of brings you back to your childhood and makes you remember things like magic and all that fun stuff. So that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to briefly touch base on this and maybe talk about a few things, let you guys know we haven't forgot about Kingdom Hearts. I know it's coming out. I'm, I'm excited. I might fall off the face of the earth for a few days playing this game. Until then, everyone, we'll see you on the next Let's Talk About Games.